Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to my channel. I am Dale of Dale's Leatherworks, and in today's video, I'm extremely excited because I'm going to be talking about this incredible pair, Alden Davis boots in snuff suede. And joining us alongside these are my Alden Indie boots in snuff suede. And uh, as you can see, both of these snuff suedes are slightly different. Mine has more of a uh, straw-like appearance, whereas these Davis boots have more of a mossy, golden appearance about them. Just goes to show that variations between the same leather occur frequently. Tanneries do their best to kick out a consistent product, but as you can see, it's not always 100% consistent. Now, my Alden Snuff Suede's have a bit more wear compared to these. Huge thanks to my buddy Eli, who sent me these to review and sell. So these are going to be available on my website, dalesleatherworks.com. They'll be listed for $400. They're a size 8D. So I did try these on briefly myself, just out of sheer curiosity to see how the 8D would fit me. And I was very relieved when I slipped them on and said, oh, yep, a little too tight. <laughs> so I'm a 9 Brannock. I always size down a half size for Alden to an 8.5. Uh, my Grant Stones also an eight and a half, but sometimes I have doubts like, are these a little big? Are these a little too roomy? In recent years, I've settled on the Grant Stone 8E being the most perfect fit, particularly on their Floyd Last. Their Floyd Last is very voluminous, as you can see here, raised walls in the vamp, and uh, so these are 8Es. These are a perfect fit, no doubt about it. Sizing, it's always stressful, but it's, it's nice when you when you think you've sized too big and then you try the next size and it's a little too small, that's always a good feeling. In summary, I think that I've landed on 8E as being my ideal Alden fit. The length on my 8.5 Alden's just a little long, so by dialing back the length just a, by just a half size and in increasing the width to an E, for me it's a perfect fit. These are 8Ds, I'd keep them myself, but yeah, once again, what happens is I put them on and my toes advance and the instep immediately, like my toes were kind of squished, and then the instep, I felt it right here. And I said, yeah, yeah, the eight Ds would not work. If this was an E width, it'd be perfect. Anyway, so let's talk about the specs on these. So we've got a, most noteworthy, a perforated cap toe. I've always loved this model. I've always lusted after this one. I just never pulled the trigger on this. Um, I had a similar iteration from J. Crew. It was their J. Crew Ludlow boot in bourbon suede, I believe. Those are super nice. I actually gifted those off to my father, so they're not currently in my rotation. Uh, so we've got painted brown eyelets with four speed hooks. Very nice. We've got a 360 degree split reverse welt. The raw edge is exposed on the lip, and so that makes it a split reverse welt. Thanks, Take O, for that little bit of knowledge that you cast my way there. The joint welt is kind of sloppy, not gonna lie. Not not super duper impressed with that with that joint welt here. It's just on the left boot though. Uh, the one on the right boot is very well sealed off and complete looking. Not that I care, right? But it's just uh, something to point out. Um, these are these are boots. They're not supposed to be 100% perfect down to the molecule. It's impossible. These are handmade. <laughs> so um, really beautiful decorative stitching along the quarter. It, ru it runs all the way up the quarter, across the collar, also perforated. I love that. The back heel strip on the left boot is a little, is a little wonky. It's a little off, but you know, no big deal. Again, I'm just pointing it out. It's not that I have a problem with any of this. It's just something that people like to uh, obsess over. <laughs> Golden threads. And then, yes, once again, we've got the traditional Alden Commando outsole. It's, it's more of a dressy outsole. It's more discreet. It's not super duper toothy and luggy. It's just a, it's a perfect outsole for a dress boot. This is, these would be perfect for like a business casual, especially in the winter time, but year round, these would serve you very well. As always, glove leather lining on the interior, non-gusseted tongue. These are from one of the most famous Alden shops, Brick and Mortar Seattle, who I've long followed, have great respect for them. These are currently on sale through them for $715. Wow, I would have expected these to be, 
be more in line with the standard indie boot pricing, which is about $655 currently. So Alden shoes are made using superior quality calfskin suede. Its softness and pliability makes the ideal leather for use in Alden's unlined footwear, such as the unlined chukka boots or flex welt penny loafers. These Davis boots were designed by Charlie Davis. They're on the very last 360 degree pre-stitched reverse welt, antique welt, and sole edge commando outsoles matching eyelets and speed hooks. These are available for pre-order. They require a $300 deposit and production times do vary. Typically though for a pre-order like this you're looking at six months. A brick and mortar Seattle they also have other snuff suede iterations. They have the Yenny snuff suede wingtip boot. They have the Sullivan snuff suede plain toe boot. They have the everyday snuff suede chukka boot. They have the snuff suede unlined plain toe blucher. Beautiful. Yeah, brick and mortar, they're a really good shop. And yes, despite my constructive criticisms against Alden, I still really love this company. I still love American made. I still love to support American shops and American shop owners. And for that reason, Brick and Mortar Seattle have some of the best makeups in the game. Not just them, but uh, my buddy Matt Gray at Aldwine Raleigh also is just doing some killer bang up makeups. I see him on Instagram posting all the time new new builds and new makeups. He's having a blast over there in Raleigh. I, uh, I actually tried to stop by his shop about a year ago, but they're not open like all the time so it's difficult to sort of coordinate a visit but yeah Matt Gray he's a super cool dude he's also an Alden legend aficionado collector. Exter is running a big sale right now if you use my code Dales Leather at the checkout you can save an additional five percent off. Uh, right now they are running a big sale this is called the Exter Parliament wallet this is a premium leather smart wallet perfect for slim storage and quick card access the built-in aluminum card holder fans out your cards at the click of a button and protects them against ARFID skimming. Holds 1 to 12 cards and bills. This wallet will prevent people from stealing your data. The leather is sort of a calfskin feel. Buttery smooth. It's got really nice waxed finished edges. And then the really exciting thing is the chip tracker card. It's got worldwide lost and found platform coverage. The net range is up to 200 feet. It's solar powered. As you can see here, it's got a solar powered panel. It's got three hours of charge, lasts two to three full months. We are in Christmas season. This is the perfect gift. Check out my link if you're interested. And yeah, if I were to own this pair, these would look really good dressed up with some tweed. Some green tweed trousers, gray tweed, really thick wool trousers in the winter time. These would just look beautiful with those. These are in excellent condition. These to me look like they were worn probably once by Eli. And so anyways, that'll do it for now. Thanks for watching guys. What are your thoughts on these incredible Davis snuff suede cap toe boots? I love them. I will eventually like to add this to my rotation one day. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe I could get some second hand in an 8E. That over $700 price point is uh, to me feels a little much, but I get it. People got to make money. So anyways, with that, I'll shut it down. Let's keep the love of snuff suede alive. I will see y'all in my next video.